Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy, back with another Dokkan battle video. So, as we expected, part two of the Goku, Gohan, and Goten celebration is officially here on Global. And as always, we're gonna jump into the news together and see what they have in store for us. Now, as a quick random side note, for some reason, Dokkan just decided to completely stop working on all the emulators I usually use for my videos like Nox, Bluestacks, and so on and so forth. It might have something to do with the new update, I'm not really sure, but either way, today, for the first time in a long time, we're gonna be recording gameplay on my phone. It really doesn't matter in the context of the video, it doesn't affect anything, but I just wanted to let you guys know in case you're wondering why I keep looking down in the video. So, there you go, completely random like I said, and uh, let's jump into the news now. So, if you guys are frequent viewers, frequently watch my videos, you should have a generally pretty good idea of a few things that are coming up, especially one pretty big thing that I suspect they're gonna mention at the very top here. Yes, there we go. So, new SSR, Super Saiyan Broly, who can be Dokkan Awakened into an LR, will make his debut in the International Version's Legendary Summon. Of course, they're referring to the tech transforming LR Broly that I mentioned in a couple videos now, but more specifically, I went into detail about him uh, in the video earlier today. So if you guys didn't check that out yet, you don't know what he's all about, then go check that out. He is going to be absolutely insane, for real. Like, I don't want to go into too much detail because I already talked about it before, but I'm so freaking excited for him. I said in the title that I've never been this excited for a unit ever since I started playing Dokkan, and I got to say that's accurate, man. I I'm just like... <laughs> I want him so bad, guys. I want him so freaking bad. Okay, let's move on. Grab the chance to recruit Super Saiyan Broly as a powerful ally. I hope I can. Okay, in addition to luxurious login bonuses, a new story event will also be available during the event period. Okay, number one. Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day Special Missions Part 2. Awesome. So, some new stones, or some more free stones, some items, you know, Kai, stuff like that. Always a good thing. Number two is a Dragon Stone Sale. Okay, we got one sale of six Dragon Stones. Very generous, Bandai. Thank you. Six Dragon Stones for 50% off, and only once. Like, it's six stones. Why can't we get at least, you know, four or five of those? Of course, it doesn't really matter if you're not a pay-to-pay -pay player. If you're, you know, free-to-play, then you don't care. But for a pay-to-play player, like, come on, six stones. Give, give us a few more. Okay, buy 24 stones at the price of 12 Dragon Stones once only. Okay, that's always good. 32 stones for over 50% discount. That's also a good deal. And also 91 stones your standard 91 stone pack for 20% uh, off. Okay, and in addition, one time only super discount for 77 stones is available this time. So that usually is a pretty good deal. And I think we just got a few, yeah, we got a couple for the last celebration. So this should be the same thing. Should be, I'm guessing like 20 to 25 USD for you guys in the States. And for me, Canadian, it's 30 bucks. Still a good deal, obviously not as good, but I usually buy them, so if you guys are, you know, pay to play, you guys are willing to spend a little bit of money on the game, then consider picking this one up. And number three, we have a new story event, and that would be for the LR Goku and Arale. Everything you need to awaken this, uh, well, it would be the Goku and Krillin right now to the LR state will be from this story event, and that is coming out, oh, today. Okay, so at reset today, I guess, um, we will be getting the story event, so expect the stream for that. I'm very excited to awaken this LR because... They're really good. They're really, really good. So can't wait for that. Of course, more free stones too from the missions and clearing the story and all that stuff. So that's also hype. Number four is Penguin Village Adventure. So I believe they're just bringing this back because, you know, Goku and Arale. But uh, one interesting thing is that this event hasn't been back on Global for... Uh, I don't even remember the last time I was here, man. It hasn't been like two years. It's two plus years. I don't know. It's not that like hype of an event, but uh, either way, I mean, it's been a long time. So a lot of people that are playing right now probably weren't even, you know, in the game, weren't even players at the time that this event was here last time. So uh, for you guys, that could be pretty hype, I guess. And you can get some free stones, you know, from clearing the story and that stuff. But um, yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, it's just been such a long time. I don't remember exactly how long. If you guys are OGs, you guys have been playing this game for a long time, let me know in the comments down below how long exactly it's been since this Arale event has been on Global, because it's been really damn long. Okay, anyways, uh, number five, we have a couple of, let's see, uh, number five is Dokkan events available daily. So we got two Dokkan events, and one would be the Berserker of Destruction original Broly event, and number two would be for the Super Saiyan 3 Broly. Um, I'm guessing it's just going off the Broly theme since we're getting a new LR Broly possibly, or maybe the new LR Broly 
Actually, you know what? The new LR Broly probably requires, you know, Awakening Medals from multiple Broly events, so maybe these ones are part of that. I don't really know, but I'm just guessing. Would make sense. Alright, number six is Extreme Z Battle for Broly is available. Oh, it says various though, kind of uh, Extreme Z Battle events. Oh, actually, I was told that all the Extreme Z Battle events are returning, so maybe it's. They're just showing the Broly right now because we're, you know, we're on that Broly theme, but possibly all the Extreme Z Battle events are gonna be here. Don't hold me to it, but that's what I heard. So we could be getting all the Extreme Z Battle events at once. So if you guys have been slacking or didn't have the team to beat certain ones in the past, now might be our opportunity, all right? Number six, number seven, all hidden potential events are open weekly. And this will be, let's see, hidden potential events of all types will be available from uh, 16 PST on Friday to, okay, so yeah, on the weekend between the 20th, which is today. Oh wait, but it's not the weekend. So I guess starting, you know, this weekend, so in like five, six days, um, until the 5th of June, we're going to be getting the Hidden Potential events all open on the weekends, which is really good for getting, you know, Hidden Potential orbs. If you guys are, you know, low on orbs, make sure you take advantage of this because it doesn't come around that often. And I get people asking me all the time, Tiger, how do you farm for, you know, orbs? And you really can't, right? You can't farm for regular Hidden Potential orbs except for doing the orb event every single day and waiting for, you know, events and stuff like that. But this is a really good opportunity, so definitely do all your orb events on the weekend. During the weekdays, of course, too, but on the weekend for this one, and uh, you get a lot of orbs over the course of the month, so that's great. All right, number six, or number eight, sorry. <laughs> Lord Slug event is back with the Kaoken Goku and the Lord Slug, and uh, oh, there's also a Kid Gohan. I remember him, but yeah, some free-to-play characters. That's pretty dope. Number nine is the Otherworld event is back, okay. And number 10, we have the Legendary Summon for the LR Broly. He is coming out on, well, I guess it's Wednesday or Thursday, depending on exactly where you live. But for me, it's going to be Thursday morning. For some of you guys, it might be uh, Wednesday night, but it's going to be Wednesday at reset. So uh, it would be, let's see, 10.30 Pacific Standard Time. For me, it would be about 2.30 Eastern Standard Time the next day in the morning. But either way, coming soon in about two to three days and uh, I've said this multiple times already I'm definitely summoning there's no way I'm skipping I want him real real bad probably the most I've wanted a unit if not in a long time then possibly ever I don't really know I just want him okay number 11 is the eighth virtual Dokkan Ultimate Collab oh one quick thing is that because he is a legendary summon banner um, it's not gonna be, you know, nearly as good as your average, like, at least these days, your average Dokkan Fest banner, but it could still feature some good units if they decide to put in, like, um, AGL Rage or Wrathful Broly as a featured unit. I would lose my mind, man, because I didn't manage to pull him uh, on the DBS Broly banner, so hopefully I can get a copy of him on this banner. If he's featured, it would make sense going by the Broly theme, but... You never know. I'm just gonna cross my fingers for that too. But anyways, uh, number 10 is the Legendary Summon. Number 11 is the Ultimate Clash number eight or Dokkan Battlefield, whichever one you wanna call it. So about, uh, I wanna say 35 to 40, probably 35, right? I don't remember the exact number, but I believe it's around 30, 35, something like that. Free stones for every clear, um, every time it comes back. So, you know, more free stones to save for, well, either, either for Broly if you guys are summoning or possibly for the four year anniversary if you guys want to save for that. It's really up to you, but to me, it just looks like 30 plus free stones, which is nice. Number 12 is uh, Elder Kai summon at this point. I don't think people really need to summon for Elder Kai's anymore with stones at least because they do give out enough, I think, for, you know, most people. But if you guys really want to, five Kai's for 25 stones, so basically one Kai for five stones. I don't, I, you know what, I can't recommend it. I can't recommend it. I would say no, don't do it, but it's up to you guys. If you guys are really desperate for Kai's, I guess you could, but you can always get them for free. Just gotta be patient, so it's up to you. Not really sure. Number 13 is the Raditz event, and usually when we get the Raditz event, that does tell us that we are getting a World Tournament soon. I haven't seen at the very bottom here, so maybe we're getting a World Tournament, possibly. Number 14 is Goku and Friends are back. That's a story event that... I uh, think you get radishes for, you can get some Kai's with the radishes. And number 15 is Great Sales at Baba Shop. Okay, and the rest of these I believe are part one. So everything we just covered is for part two of the celebration. The main thing of course is the Broly Legendary Summon, but there's also, um, let's see, you know, hidden, you know, hidden potential events on the, or hit, hit orb events on the weekend. Man, words are so hard. And also, of course, LR Goku and Arale, which is extremely hype for me as well, as I already mentioned. 
And last but not least, we got uh, Ultimate Clash, which is also nice. So there we go. Let's actually pop into the missions here just for a quick look and see if there's anything. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, complete all the daily missions and time completed or time limited missions to obtain up to 52 stones. 52 stones. There's, there's no, yo, they gotta, they gotta be adding up part one and part two because there's no way they're giving us 52 for just one part. Let me see, let me see. All right, so time limited for part one is those ones. Part two is, yeah, okay, so it's five plus nine. So that's 14 stones for part two. I'm not missing anything, am I? I think that's it. Okay, so five, tw uh, 14 stones plus one per day. So they're probably doing, you know, they're adding up all the one per day or all the dailies plus, you know, the time limited ones from part one and part two. So it's 52. So for part two, I'm going to guess we're probably going to get around like, uh, actually, I don't know if, if it's going to be like 30 days. No, it's not 30 days. It's going to be about 14, 15 days. So yeah, about 30 stones, I'd say, for part two overall for the missions. And login bonus should be the same as before. Oh, yeah, I mean, it didn't change, right? Because I believe the login bonus from before actually just carried through the whole whole celebration, like part one and part two. Let's see. Okay, login bonus, here we go. Does it change at all since we got into part two? I'm going to say no. Yeah, one, 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 one. Okay, yeah, one stone a day. Same thing as before, and we get a Kai at the very end. So I guess get excited for that if you guys need Kais. <laughs> but that's all I got. I, I guess that's all the news I got to cover today. Um, hopefully the whole like looking down on my phone and looking at you guys wasn't too weird for this video. Hopefully I can get my emulators to work again, but for now it's going to be a temporary solution until we figure that out. But I think that's all I really got to cover here. Um, I will talk quickly about this update here for you guys since I didn't really make a video since the update came out, but everything that we thought was going to come, or was, where we thought was going to happen in the original video I talked about, um, or that I talked about in the original video, uh, did happen. So, you know, we got our reward boost. You can use it three times a day, basically eight hour recharge per boost, and it gives you double the rewards uh, for double the stamina. So farming is faster, kind of. And we also got a new skill effect and link skill filter. We got the optimized scouter that allows you to watch super attacks for all units. And number four is, yeah. Oh, so I actually made a mistake in this video, in the video originally about this part. So I thought that we used to get a new, like, new icon above extreme z battle events that would go wouldn't go away for a while but we used to not have new icons right and now they're saying they're implementing that new little icon for extreme z battle events that you never took on just so people know that this is a new event that was never there in the game before so that's my bad that was poor translation and uh, i apologize to anybody that got misled by that i, I guess it's not really a big deal but i just want to make sure you know people get the right information so i apologize guys that's my bad and number five is basically, yeah, items. Um, if you don't own an item, it won't just say a zero under it now. It's gonna disappear from your box. And number six is some random bug fixes. So there you go. I guess maybe one of the bug fixes is that it broke the, the game for emulators possibly. Maybe that was what they were going for. I don't really know. But either way, that is the news for you guys today. Hope you guys are excited for all the stuff that we're about to get and you know, if you guys are something for Broly, then best of luck to you. I hope you guys all pull him, obviously. Some people are going to get shafted, that's just the way of gacha games, but I hope as many people as possible you know, pull fire and are happy and hopefully your boy Tiger can do the same because I didn't pull physical BBS Broly, so the, the dream would be to make up for that on the Legendary Summon banner and actually pull the new Broly. So we'll see, fingers crossed, knock on wood, we'll see what happens, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, that's all the news I have for you today, and as always, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. But that's all I gotta say, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media, signing out.